SBase is a multidimensional database management system that provides a multidimensional database platform upon which to build analytic applications. SBase, whose name derives from Extended Spreadsheet Database, began as a product of Arbor Software, which merged with Hyperion Software in 1998. Oracle Corporation acquired Hyperion Solutions Corporation in 2007, as of 2009 it markets SBase as Oracle SBase. Until late 2005 IBM also marketed the product a Euro as DB2OLAP server. The database researcher EF Code coined the term online analytical processing in a white paper that set out 12 rules for analytic systems. This white paper, published by Computer World, was somewhat explicit in its reference to SBase features, and when it was later discovered that code had been sponsored by Arbor Software, Computer World withdrew the paper. In contrast to online transaction processing, OLAP defines a database technology optimized for processing human queries rather than transactions. The results of this orientation were that MDBMS oriented their performance requirements around a different set of benchmarks than that of a DBMS. Hyperion renamed many of its products in 2005, giving SBase an official name of Hyperion System 9BI plus Analytics Services, but the new name was largely ignored by practitioners. The SBase brand was later returned to the official product name for marketing purposes, but the server software still carried the analytic services title until it was incorporated into Oracle's business intelligence product suite. 1. In August 2005, Information Age magazine named SBase as one of the ten most influential technology innovations of the previous ten years, along with Netscape, the BlackBerry, Google, Virtualization, Voice over IP, Linux, XML, the Pentium processor and ADSL. Editor Kenny McIver said, Hyperion SBase was the multidimensional database technology that put online analytical processing on the business intelligence map. It has spurred the creation of scores of rival OLAP products a euro, and billions of OLAP cubes. History and Motivation Although SBase has been categorized as a general-purpose multidimensional database, it was originally developed to address the scalability issues associated with spreadsheets such as Lotus 1-2-3 and Microsoft Excel. Indeed, the patent covering SBase uses spreadsheets as a motivating example to illustrate the need for such a system. In this context, multidimensional refers to the representation of financial data in spreadsheet format. A typical spreadsheet may display time intervals along column headings, and account names on row headings. For example, if a user wants to break down these values by region, for example, this typically involves the duplication of this table on multiple spreadsheets, an alternative representation of this structure would require a three-dimensional spreadsheet grid, giving rise to the idea that time, account, and region are dimensions. As further dimensions are added to the system, it becomes very difficult to maintain spreadsheets that correctly represent the multidimensional values. Multidimensional databases such as SBase provide a data store for values that exist, at least conceptually, in a multidimensional hypercube. Sparsity, as the number and size of dimensions increases, developers of multidimensional databases increasingly face technical problems in the physical representation of data. So the above example was extended to add a customer and product dimension, if the multidimensional database reserved storage space for every possible value, it would need to store 2 billion 400 million cells. If the software maps each cell as a 64-bit floating point value, this equates to a memory requirement of at least 17 gigabytes. In practice, of course, the number of combinations of customer and product that contain meaningful values will be a tiny subset of the total space. This property of multidimensional spaces is referred to as sparsity. Aggregation OLAP systems generally provide for multiple levels of detail within each dimension by arranging the members of each dimension into one or more hierarchies. A time dimension, for example, may be represented as a hierarchy starting with total time and breaking down into multiple years then quarters, then months. An account's dimension may start with profit, which breaks down into revenue, and expenses, and so on. In the example above, 
if product represents individual product SKUs, analysts may also want to report using aggregations such as product group, product family, product line, etc. Similarly, for customer, natural aggregations may arrange customers according to geographic location or industry. The number of aggregate values implied by a set of input data can become surprisingly large. If the customer and product dimensions are each in fact six generations deep, then 36 aggregate values are affected by a single data point. It follows that if all these aggregate values are to be stored, the amount of space required is proportional to the product of the depth of all aggregating dimensions. For large databases, this can cause the effective storage requirements to be many hundred times the size of the data being aggregated. Block storage Since version 7, SBase has supported two storage options, which take advantage of sparsity to minimize the amount of physical memory and disk space required to represent large multidimensional spaces. The SBase patent describes the original method, which aimed to reduce the amount of physical memory required without increasing the time required to look up closely related values. With the introduction of alternative storage options, marketing materials called this the block storage option, later referred to as SBase Analytics. Put briefly, SBase requires the developer to tag dimensions as dense, or sparse. The system then arranges data to represent the hypercube into blocks, where each block comprises a multi-dimensional array made up of dense dimensions, and space is allocated for every potential cell in that block. Sparsity is exploited because the system only creates blocks when required. In the example above, say the developer has tagged accounts, and time as dense, and region, customer, and product as sparse. If there are, say, 12,000 combinations of region, customer and product that contain data, then only 12,000 blocks will be created, each block large enough to store every possible combination of accounts and time. The number of cells stored is therefore 192,000, requiring under 2 GB of memory, plus the size of the index used to look up the appropriate blocks. Because the database hides this implementation from front-end tools, the full hypercube can be navigated naturally, and it is possible to load values into any cell interactively. Calculation Engine Users can specify calculations in SBase BSO as the aggregation of values through dimensional hierarchies. Stored calculations on dimension members. Dynamically calculated dimension members. Or, procedural calculation scripts that act on values stored in the database. The first method takes place implicitly through addition, or by selectively tagging branches of the hierarchy to be subtracted, multiplied, divided or ignored. Also, the result of this aggregation can be stored in the database, or calculated dynamically on demand a euro members must be tagged as stored, or dynamic calc. To specify which method is to be used. The second method uses a formula against each calculated dimension member a euro. When SBase calculates that member, the result is stored against that member just like a data value. The third method is specified in exactly the same format as stored calculations, but calculates a result when a user accesses a value addressed by that member. The system does not store such calculated values. The fourth method uses a procedural programming language specific to the SBase calculation engine. This type of calculation may act upon any data value in the hypercube, and can therefore perform calculations that cannot be expressed as a simple formula. A calculation script must also be executed to trigger the calculation of aggregated values or stored calculations as described above. The Euro a built-in calculation script can be used to execute this type of calculation. Aggregate storage Although block storage effectively minimizes storage requirements without impacting retrieval time, it has limitations in its treatment of aggregate data in large applications, motivating the introduction of a second storage engine, named Aggregate Storage Option or more recently, Enterprise Analytics. This storage option makes the database behave much more like an OLAP database, such as SQL Server Analysis Services. Following a data load, SBase ASO does not store any aggregate values, but instead calculates them on demand. For large databases, 
where the time required to generate these values may become inconvenient, the database can materialize one or more aggregate views, made up of one aggregate level from each dimension, and these views are then used to generate other aggregate values where possible. This process can be partially automated, where the administrator specifies the amount of disk space that may be used, and the database generates views according to actual usage. This approach is a major drawback in that the cube cannot be treated for calculation purposes as a single large hypercube, because aggregate values cannot be directly controlled, so write-back from front-end tools is limited, and complex calculations that cannot be expressed as MDX expressions are not possible. Calculation Engine, SBase ASO can specify calculations as, the aggregation of values through dimensional hierarchies. Or, dynamically calculated dimension members. The first method basically duplicates the algorithm used by SBase BSO. The second method evaluates MDX expressions against dimension members. User Interface Many users work with SBase data using as their interface an add in for Microsoft Excel. The add in adds a menu to the spreadsheet application that can be used to connect to SBase databases, retrieve data, and navigate the cube's dimensions. With the release of System 9, Hyperion provided a new user interface add in for SBase called Smart View for Microsoft Office. Smart View provides access to SBase and other System 9 content for Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Outlook as well as supplanting the previous add-in for Microsoft Excel. In 2005, Hyperion began to offer a visualization tool called Tableau under the name Hyperion Visual Explorer 2. Tableau originated at Stanford University as a government-sponsored research project to investigate new ways for users to interact with relational and OLAP databases. Other user-facing applications with support for SBase databases include, Hyperion Analyzer, Hyperion Reports, Hyperion Enterprise Reporting, Hyperion Intelligence Hyperion Square, Alphablox, ArcPlan Dynasite, Oracle Business Intelligence Suite Enterprise Edition. Applied OLAP Dodica, CXO Cockpit Reporting Suite, the previous offerings from Hyperion acquired new names as given below. APIs are available for C, Visual Basic and Java, and embedded scripting support is available for Perl. The standardized XML for analysis protocol can query SBase data sources using the MDX language. In 2007, Oracle Corporation began bundling Hyperion BI tools into Oracle Business Intelligence Enterprise Edition Plus. Administrative Interface A number of standard interfaces can administer of SBase applications, ESSCMD, the original command line interface for administration commands. Maxel, a multidimensional database access language, which provides both a superset of ESSCMD commands but with a syntax more akin to SQL, as well as support for MDX queries. SBase Application Manager, the original Microsoft Windows GUI administration client, compatible with versions of SBase before 7.0. SBase Administration Services, later renamed Analytic Administration Services, and then back to SBase Administration Services in v. 9.3.1. The currently supported GUI administration client. And, SBase Integration Server for maintaining the structure and content of SBase databases based on data models derived from relational or file based data sources. Competitors There are several significant competitors among the OLAP, analytics products to that of SBase on the market, among them SAP BPC. Microsoft SQL Server Microsoft Analysis Services IBM Cognos, Ibmaplex TM1, Oracle OLAP, MicroStrategy, and Exasolution. Also note that of the above competitors, including SBase, all use heterogeneous relational or non-relational data sourcing to feed the cubes, except for Oracle OLAP which may only use Oracle relational sourcing. Export and or product migration of SBase as of 2009 two options can export SBase cubes into other formats, CubePort, a commercial conversion application, converts SBase cubes to the Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services product. This product performs an object-to-object -object translation that make up an SBase cube, including, outline, 
member formulas, calc scripts, data loading, report scripts to MDX queries, substitution variables, and security model. It can extract from any platform version of SBase, including Oracle Hyperion SBase on Windows, Unix, AIX, HPUX, Solaris, IBM DB 2OLAP, or AS 400 Showcase SBase. OLAP Underground Outline Extractor performs a pure, rudimentary, export of the outline, though it does not directly create any new objects. The output is a simple text file that can be pulled in directly into other OLAP products, among other uses, such as synchronizing outlines. The outline extractor is now maintained, supported and distributed free of charge by Applied OLAP, Inc. See also, OLAP, Oracle OLAP, Business Intelligence, Data Warehousing, Hyperion Planning, Comparison of OLAP Servers, References, V11.1.2.3 Documentation, HTTP, Docs Oracle COM 4024801 Portal 3 HTM, V11.1.1.3 Documentation, HTTP, Download Oracle COM of Portal 3 HTM, V9.3.1 Documentation, HTTP, Download Oracle Comp Doc Index HTM, HTTP, www306 IBM Comp Detape 2 OLAP Slash, Code, EF, SB Code, CT Sally, Providing OLAP to User Analysts, an IT Mandate, Computer Worlder, HTTP, www.regdeveloper Comp 01 OLAP Speed Slash, HTTP, Web Archive Org 20070927190115 Compa 9 News Releases Press Release 2005-00512 CFM, ABL, Robert J. Method and Apparatus for Storing and Retrieving Multidimensional Data in Computer Memory. United States Patent 5,359,724 Assigned to Arbor Software Corporation. Hyperion Solutions Corporation. SBase Database Administrator's Guide. External links, Oracle EPM, BI and Data Warehousing, Oracle SBase, Hyperion at Oracle.